Well, the first time I ever saw her on a soccer field was at a state cup tournament. Uh, I think it was down in, near San Diego or in San Diego. And I remember this girl playing for this Long Beach team. And uh, I remember thinking, man, she is a dynamic goalkeeper. But she wasn't tall. And so the irony about Anna is that, you know, the lady that would go on to be one of the best keepers we've ever had in the history of our program. So my first impression was we showed up and, and I think I looked at Tim and said, she's the same size as me. And I'm like, how does that kid play in goal the same size as me? And I remember there was a, a ball that was played in that was like headed to the upper V and the next thing I knew, Anna Piccarelli flies out of the air and makes the save and I looked at Tim and I'm like, okay, this kid's legit. We need this kid. She was probably one of the most incredible goalies I've ever watched, played with, played against. Her abilities, her flexibility, her agility to, I mean, she had made some of the most incredible saves that I don't even know how you can make that. And she was incredibly hard worker. She never gave up on herself, on the team, on anything. And so she was truly like a teammate, an athlete, a goalie that you would want on your team, on your side. She was just so determined to um, to achieve what she did. And, and I think a lot of it was uh, she wanted to prove a lot of people wrong that didn't believe in her. And uh, it was just great that uh, um, you know, Tim and a few of the staff there, they believed in her to bring her in. She made that position so athletic, and I think it's because she brought just athleticism to it versus, you know, maybe a more traditional goalkeeper who might be really tall and, you know, not have a ton of endurance. Like, Anna was so quick. So when she made saves, it looked good. It was fun to watch, and it was fun to see her, you know, kind of rally and get excited about that. I remember her. Uh, at the beginning of each half, she would go out and sort of her intimidation moment was to jump and hang from the crossbar, show everybody that she could cover, cover that height. And I, I used to laugh because I thought it was cute. And I'm like, all right, she's got a bit of a chip on her shoulder and she's got a little fire in there. And um, it so proved that throughout her career, not only in club but in college, that fire and that desire to show people that she was good enough actually took her really, really far. She is bigger than the goal. And as a person, she took on what everything Pepperdine's about. And she represented that in her teammates, in her play, in the classroom, and outside of the classroom, and outside of Pepperdine. I think she's just left a big influence on others, and especially the next generation to come, being able to see and hear her story and you know, how hard she worked to be that successful. I mean, there's people that have the height and have the ability and have all that drive and can't do all those things. Anna was a great representation. She was a good student um, and she lived out her faith and um, she, was, she represented that in everything that she did as far as who she was as a person, how she carried herself and just how she led, how she led her team and how she led the people around her and being around Anna you were a better person for being around Anna and knowing Anna and Anna brings out by who she is the best in you and I think that's what Pepperdine is all about and I think that's what Pepperdine represents and Anna is a unbelievable representation of not only Pepperdine women's soccer but Pepperdine University. She kept going after college and you know fought hard to get beyond um, her college career into um, her career in Italy and I think short periods of her career here in the States so you know she kept it going she's still passionate about it and coaching so I think that this she's representative of someone who has loved the sport and has continued to contribute to it. Just absolute honor to coach you um, congratulations on the, uh, the Hall of Fame and you deserve every bit of it. So again, I was glad to be a small part of that and uh, you've been amazing. Anna, I, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, which is ironic, right? But we love you, I love you. I'm so blessed that you chose to come to Pepperdine University because our program uh, in, will forever be blessed by that decision. The legacy you've left here uh, will never be forgotten. As long as I'm the coach here, I tell every single goalkeeper we have about the legend of Anna Piccarelli. So thank you, we love you, congratulations.